All right, so the very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna look at doing a yield calibration on a 700 series combine. So we scroll down and we push yield calibration. The very first thing that pops up says not available when active yield is turned on. So we're gonna tap to open active yield, brings us back to active yield, and we simply turn active yield off and close that box out and go back to our yield calibration. So when we get ready to do a yield calibration in, an S, in a 700 series combine, one thing that's important is it is slightly different than it is on a 600. Uh, once we get to yield calibration, we simply push record and we push start. Once we start that calibration load, it's gonna wait for that load to come across. Uh, once that load is complete, we simply hit done and it's gonna log it into the calibration management screen. Up at the top, uh, you'll see your arrow pointing towards a dot. So since we don't have a header on and we're not recording, uh, we don't have the ability to do this. So we're simply going to hit delete and that's going to actually stop that sample. But were we in a cropping condition, then we would have that information there. So calibration mode, is going we're going to set it to auto sample so that every time we start a new sample, it adds that load to our load totals. We don't have to do it manually. So when we do a manual operation, we can go into advanced mode. One of the things that's going to allow us to do is see the different loads that were done, very similar to how we did on an S600. Again, in an S700 combine, we're going to be using active yield. So doing this yield calibration is going to be something that we don't are not going to do a whole lot because we're going to be utilizing active yield. So actually from here, I'm actually going to go back and simply turn active yield back on. 